Example one, what is the relative atomic mass of uh, carbon? Okay, now just now we learned that the mass of carbon, mass of one carbon atom is equal to 12 amu, right? 12 amu. Huh? So 12 amu is 12 times greater than 1 amu, right? Okay, 1 amu is the standard reference. Huh? Okay, so this is uh, the standard reference. Okay, so this 12 amu is 12 times greater than 1 amu, right? So therefore, uh, the relative atomic mass of carbon is equal to 12, okay? Now, relative atomic mass has no unit, so you don't need to write the unit for uh, relative atomic mass. It's just how many times the mass of an atom is greater than 1 amu. Example 2. The mass of a sodium atom is 23 times greater than 1 over 12 of the mass of carbon-12 atom. So what is the relative atomic mass of sodium? So this 1 over 12 of the mass of carbon-12 atom, this is equal to, to uh, 1 amu, right? 1 amu, eh? okay. Now if the mass of a sodium atom is 23 times greater than 1 amu, uh, therefore, the relative atomic mass of the relative atomic mass of sodium will be equal to 23, okay, because it's 23 times greater than the uh, standard reference. So, that is the meanings of relative atomic mass. Eh? Is how many times the mass of an atom uh, in comparison with the standards uh, reference. The standard reference is equal to 1 amu. Eh? Example 3, the mass of element A is twice of the mass of uh, carbons. Therefore, its relative atomic mass is... Now, just now we have learned that the mass of uh, carbons, the mass of carbon is 12 amu, right? Let's write here. Mass of carbons is equal to 12 amu. Okay. Um, so element A is mass is two times, uh, twice, two times the mass of a carbon atoms, uh, which means the element A, mass of element A is uh, 24 amu, right? So therefore, the relative atomic mass of uh, element A will be 24, okay, 24. Uh, because relative mass is the, how many times, uh, how many times the mass of uh, an atom compared to 1 amu, uh, okay. So 24 amu is 24 times uh, greater than the mass of 1 amu, okay. So therefore, the relative atomic mass is 24. Example 4, an atom of element X is 13 times heavier than one atom of helium. So calculate the relative atomic mass of X. Okay, now this one is simple. So the relative atomic mass of helium is 4. Eh? Okay, so therefore uh, the relative atomic mass, symbol for relative atomic mass is AR. Okay, AR of uh, X eh, is 13 times, 13 times greater than is the mass of helium. Mass of helium, the relative atomic mass of helium is four. So therefore the answer is uh, 52. Example five, how many times that two bromine atoms are greater than four neon atoms? So the mass of two bromine atoms, uh, two multiplied by 80, okay? And then divided by four neon atoms, the mass of four neon atoms, four multiplied by 20. So the answer is two, okay, two. So the mass of two bromine atoms are two times higher or greater than the mass of four neon atoms. Example six, four atoms of element L have same mass as one tellurium atom. So find the relative atomic mass of L. So let's say uh, the relative atomic mass of L uh, is AR. AR, okay. So we learned that uh, 4 AR is equal to uh, the relative atomic mass of 1 tellurium, uh, tellurium atoms. So it's equal to the mass of 1 tellurium atoms. 
so uh, that is 128 so therefore AR equal to 128 divided by 4 uh, equal to uh, 32 32 so so the relative atomic mass of L is 32 example 7 four atoms X have equal mass as two copper atoms so what is the relative atomic mass of X uh, so for this one actually we can write a linear equations uh, four atoms x uh, let's write four x uh, okay four x and then uh, is equal to the mass of two copper atoms uh, and uh, the relative atomic mass of copper is 64 uh, so 2 multiplied by 64 so therefore x is equal to uh, 128 divided by 4 uh, which is equal to 32 Example 8, determine how many magnesium atoms have equal mass as uh, 6 krypton atoms, right? The relative atomic mass of magnesium is uh, 24, okay? And the uh, relative atomic mass of uh, kryptons is uh, 84, okay? So if we want to find the number of magnesium atoms, uh, what we do is uh, we find we take the mass of 6 krypton atoms, uh, 6 krypton, 6 multiplied by... 84 okay and then divided by the mass of one magnesium 24 okay so 21 so uh 21 magnesium atoms will have uh same mass as a uh, six krypton atom